Shut up and sit down. Hey, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And we are having a couple of drinks that are called... Uh, pirate bum holes. Pirate bum holes? I don't want to drink a pirate's bum hole. Okay, this is called a pirate treasure. A pirate treasure. Okay, we're drinking some pirate treasures. And if you like our silly video while we're drinking them, please remember to like, comment, and most of all, subscribe, because otherwise you might have to drink from a pirate's bum hole, and that's not nice. Um, and we are surprising each other with movie trailers tonight that the other person has not yet seen. So what do we have tonight? Well, tonight we have a movie that comes out in less than a month that I had literally heard nothing about and stars one of your favourite actors in the whole wide world. Whoa. Who would have believed that such a thing could happen? Amazing. Not me. So let's check out the trailer and see why this one has flown quite so under the radar. Let's. Oh, no. There's something cursed about this land. Our family moved west on a promise. A promise that now looked rotten. There's no room for boys in this family anymore. And no one warned my brother about what can happen when you dream about destiny. That's how Allison Wells entered this story. <laughs> The thief and murderer, Allison Wells, sent five human souls to heaven. If you see this woman, do not confront her. I wouldn't. You okay? Yeah. Somebody going to pay me 20000 to get them to Mexico. Can you even imagine that much money? We got to get all the farms, and we got to search. I need to get out of here. They're hunting me. You found her, ain't you? The Wells lady. It's complicated. You know what the worst part of dying is, kid? Is being forgotten. It's not safe me being here. Whoa. Or for any of us, for that matter. Yeah, it doesn't look very safe. I won't be another victim of their lies. Scared ass. Yeah, me too. Don't shoot him. He seems nice. So, we have just seen the trailer for the movie Dreamland, starring Margot Robbie, amongst others, at her radiant best, if you believe the hype, mm. um, in what seems to be a cowboy kind of, she's a bank robber, she's injured, she winds up in that dude's barn, they're nude in a lake, and then nude in a shower, probably because they've been in the lake and it's probably gross. Mm. Covered in leeches. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mosquitoes. <laughs> Showering off leeches and cum. They're probably quite muddy as well. And <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Muddy. Yeah, what did you think? It looks awesome. Margot Robbie looks amazing. And yeah. I can't believe there's a movie with Harley Quinn and Ragnar Lothbrok. I know, right? Yeah, I was kind of shocked that two of our favourite actors in mm. anything and like I mean Margot Robbie, what can she not do? Serious question. Work with Jared Leto again. Oh, maybe it sh she could, but she shouldn't. Yeah, she should not. Um, not even in the Snyder cut. Yeah, but she is awesome. Mm. And uh, what's Ragnar Lothbrok's actor's name? Um, Ragnar Lothbrok. Yeah, yeah. I thought the visuals were stunning as well. Yes. I, I mean, it, I kind of thought that because it's it said massive sandstorms. It looks amazing. Yeah, and because it's said in massive letters, visually stunning. Mm. And I kind of thought, oh, that's visually stunning now. We that were said visually that. stunned. Yeah, I was stunned by big letters that mm. said visually stunning. But yeah, I mean, the sandstorm looked kind of scary, looked mm. like a big tornado thing that you don't want to be in a really flimsy looking barn, naked in a lake. I mean, if you were in a lake, naked or not, 
and a tornado went overhead, would it pull all the water out of the lake? Where are you when we need you, Mythbusters? You might not be able to breathe, though. Yeah, but how... I, yeah, that's true. Tornadoes could be quite big and last a while. Mm. I think I could maybe last four seconds underwater before I had to come yeah. up for air. I can hold my breath for at least three seconds. Yeah, yeah, okay, we die in a lake, so yeah. let's not do that. Um, either way, whether we're in a lake or not, I thought this looked really, really good. And yeah. I, I, I don't know whether this is just one of those movies that they made to release in the summer and, you know, they just... They've just had it in their back pocket for a while, and then the movie mm. studio's just running out of money to pay the rent and just thought, screw it, let's just release it. Um, but it just seemed weird that without too much of a fanfare, a new Margot Robbie Ragnar yeah. Lothbrok movie is uh, popping out mm. in less than a month on November 17th, just before my birthday. Just before we are, you know, we, we're having this awesome movie dumped on us, and then also dumping on us three days later, our Iron Mask and that Nicolas Cage uh, kick puncher movie. Yeah, we can skip those. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. if we were watching this versus those, I thought the Nicolas Cage one looked fun, but yeah, this looks um, a, a little bit uh, more sophisticated, shall we say. I'd hire an entire... You know, so you know that some theatres are doing the thing where you can spend a couple hundred dollars and hire an entire screen yes. to watch a movie... I would pay a couple hundred dollars to hire an entire screen to save people from watching either of those movies. <laughs> what, so you would play this movie in the screen and just corral people no. into your COVID death box? No, I would buy out every screening of those movies. Ah, so, so nobody no one else had to watch it. them. Uh, I get it. That's pretty. I don't think anyone w would watch them if they knew what they were getting into. Mm. Well, I guess we will see. In less than a month, will it be Margot Robbie and Ragnar Lothbrok naked in a lake? Mm. Or will it be Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger turning into dragons and pirate ninjas? Or will it be Nicolas Cage kick-punching and saying, you can't kill crazy? It's going to be one of those, and it's going to be the one with Margot Robbie. <laughs> yes, it really will, because the other two look like they suck. Mm -hmm. Well... I hope that we don't suck, because we will see you again tomorrow, my friends, on the next Drunk Trailer Ambush. Peace out, nerds. Bye! Shut up and sit down.